morning. Today is a Thursday and we are in Poland. We're in Krakow. And we're actually gonna do a lot of sightseeing today and I'm really excited, so let's go. So I'm trying my first Polish thing, which is pierogi, which is like dumplings filled with things. And we've got fried, boiled, and like three different flavors. Yeah, this looks good. This may be my new favorite thing. Nom nom nom. So I've forgotten my phone and my phone is like my anxiety safety blanket but I actually think I'm actually kind of excited to try and go traveling in a different country without my phone so there we go that'll be fun let's see how that turns out in a church but we just went into St. Mary's a church in the square in Krakow and I just got so emotional again I wanted to leave I just think it's pretty amazing now I'm not the world's best swimmer but I definitely feel more confident that I could swim in a slightly deeper vessel of water <laughs> church was amazing. Now we're just eating some raspberries that we just bought from a little fruit kiosk on the street and now we're gonna go and walk towards Oshka Shinwa's uh, enamel factory and I am pretty incredibly excited about that. That's a bucket list thing right there. was amazing and then we shared this like electric car back with two Aussies who were just like amazing and then we got some food and now we are walking to Kesh what's it called? Kesh we keep forgetting I'm gonna like, Kesh me and it's meant to be like a really old town this really... is it we're here we're here uh, we're in Kashimi and it's like a really rural town with little lanes and stuff and it's cool and the moment you said that I realised we're outside the church which is really cute If I ever opened a museum you all know that's what it would be about So today has honestly been amazing It's We've done so much I went to Schindler's factory and I never ever ever thought I was going to go to that place and I did and it was amazing and I'm just so happy and it's just so good and I've just brushed my teeth and I'm getting ready for bed. We actually did more. We actually went out, we went for something to eat and then we went to go see um, Krakow at night in the old town market square at night where we were this morning. Um, but I didn't want to vlog it because I think I've realised as well that this, this holiday was a bucket list for me. I've always wanted to go and now I've gone and it's just like I just got so emotional today in a good way and this holiday like I said it's for me so I don't want to I want to share it with you because I love vlogging but I also don't want to share everything with you because I well no actually I want to share everything with you and I have no problem sharing everything with you but the problem is I have to vlog that and I'm in my own little bubble at the moment just running around look at everything and I'm trying to like take it in as well so I'm like I'm trying to just look at something and go this is where I am this is what's happening and it's just amazing so I've taken some pictures and I'm, I've decided I'm gonna do like little slideshows every day and show you what I've done because tomorrow I'm going to Auschwitz and I know I'm not gonna vlog there there was a couple of places today I just out of respect didn't vlog and I know Auschwitz is going to be one of them, but I will take some pictures where you can and I will do a little slideshow and talk you through it. Um, yeah, if anyone who really knows me knows how much of it this, like how much of a big deal this is. And I'm just so happy. And I'm so tired. 
I had one of the best meals of my life. I'm not ruin it, save it for the last slideshow. Well, I'm gonna say goodnight now. I need to wash my makeup off my face. So tired. And I'm amazed at how red my hair still is where the roots <laughs> haven't gone through because I've washed my hair every day for the last two weeks because I just got so sweaty in Poland and in Sweden. So there we go. I am so tired though. It's only at like 11 o'clock at night, but I'm just so tired. We've been getting up far too early. We've been going to the gym, as you can see from the gun show over here. <laughs> Gonna shut up. I'm delirious off sleep, but yeah, it's like 10, 11 o'clock and I'm already tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I'm gonna up really early tomorrow. Oh shit. On my birthday. I'm a very lucky human. So on that note, I'm gonna say goodnight. Don't forget to give this video a like because it helps out my channel and subscribe if you like watching girls who tick things off their bucket list. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to my holiday snaps. As you can see these are signs stating that I am outside Oscar Schindler's enamel factory. It was actually an amazing factory with a really good tour. As you can see that every room was decked out and themed all towards the build up pre, during and post Nazi Germany. This was the first point where I've started to get emotional. The sign reads, the Poles are to be educated only to the extent that will make them realise that they have no prospects whatsoever as a nation. Like, who does that? My only downside to this museum was that it actually didn't really focus on Schindler's enamel factory at all. It was the history of the Holocaust, like I said, before, during and after. However, it was still really educational, it was really well done. Here it's showing some of the pictures where they had actually recreated some of the walls of uh, the Krakow ghetto, and as you can see they're very tomb-like, it's disturbing, and this bit shows how cramped a ghetto house could be, when in reality it was actually even more cramped than that. And these are actually some walls that still remain in Krakow. It's so sad. And this was outside and the tour actually lasted a couple of hours. And here is the infamous doors of Oscar Schindler's enamel factory.